we talked about before we got on this and I wanted to kind of hear your definition, what that means to you. Um, you brought up that you're really passionate about facilitative leadership. So mm -hmm. I have in my mind what that is, but like, you know, people in education, we're notorious for saying words. Yes. And if I say, what does that actually mean? They're like, uh, I'm like, you say it all the time, right? It's like the, mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever saw the Princess Bride, like, I don't think you, that means what you think it means. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So like, what is facilitative leadership? Why are you so passionate about that process? Facilitative leadership, um, that's fair about the definition. Honestly, I feel like there's 101 ways to say it. But for me, it's the when you're truly leveraging the team and you're doing it authentically, like, you know, as a leader, you are there's no way to move forward without the the varied perspectives, without their ideas, without their inputs, without their solutions. Um, so as much as working toward something in the content and whatever it may be, the process is just as important for you. Um, and, and developing that team to, to lead themselves, to lead each other, et cetera. So you're facilitating the, you're creating the conditions um, where you're doing a lot of pulling out thinking, but the first and foremost is that common vision. And it's not your vision. It's right. a co-created vision. Um, and then creating the, the conditions to work toward that vision, knowing that those varied perspectives are of high value, uh, invaluable actually. So for me, it's just, I, I don't know how I would have done any of my jobs um, in the roles I was in to include the classroom mm -hmm. without the input of my students. I would have a reflection bin on my desk, which was how can we make this, you know, this is our classroom, not my classroom. What can we do differently? And kids would put, I mean, this was back with paper notes, you know, <laughs> and right. they would put in and I would read them at the end of the day and make changes for the next day based on the feedback. Um, so yeah. I would say that now you think of a facilitator of a classroom, that might be an another way for people to make sense of it. Definitely the listeners to this podcast. You know, yeah, okay, I've shared this idea before. People get mad at me for sharing this, which I find is fascinating because you said this is our classroom, right? So one of the things mm -hmm. I actually suggest to teachers that I like, hey, a lot of them right now, we're recording this in July. They might be listening to this August. Right. Probably, they might even be listening to this while they're decorating their classroom, right? And they're like spending hours upon hours getting that classroom like perfect mm -hmm. ready, you know, for the kids coming in. And then they'll say, it's our classroom. It's our, I'm like, well, that's kind of yours. Cause it's like, I didn't have any say in these decorations. Yeah. Right? So I actually encourage people to say like, Hey, actually don't decorate your classroom before the kids get there. And then on the first couple of days, decorate it together. Mm -hmm. Then you can actually, it's not gonna look as good. Like I promise you if little Georgie was in your class, partly decorating, cause he didn't become much better as a teacher to decorate the classroom, <laughs> it's not gonna look as good as what you're doing. But there is some ownership and there's some authenticity and it's a great way to learn about your students. But then also there is a pride in, yeah, that's mine. That's that I put that up. That's like my thing up there too. And now there's a little bit more ownership over the classroom. So is this a terrible mm -hmm. idea or like, is this actually tie into that idea of what you're sharing? Or is that like, cause it sometimes, does. sometimes I, people are like, no, I like decorating my classroom. I'm like, well, don't go play. You don't have any time. Cause you spent two weeks doing it. Right. So get the kids. Yeah. To play, right. I would split the difference. I would say it needs to be warm and inviting. You know, it, it has to have some kind of um, curation of some kind where some right. things are, are ready.